Asbestos is a dangerous, life-threatening substance that was banned in 1999, but it can still be found in many buildings, including 8 out of 10 schools across the UK. Millions of children grow up surrounded by asbestos, which, if disturbed, can release fibres into the air. If inhaled, asbestos can lead to lung diseases, including mesothelioma, an incurable cancer which kills 2,500 people every year. The Health and Safety Executive believes the substance is best managed in situ by so-called duty holders responsible for buildings. This approach assumes that duty holders always identify asbestos accurately and take appropriate action when it has been disturbed. But when deadly particles, invisible to the naked eye, can be released into the air by something as routine as a slammed door, this approach is simply not safe enough. The safety of children and teachers should not be assumed. It should be guaranteed. The risk could be significantly reduced if we adopted an environmental limit for asbestos and carried out routine air monitoring in schools containing asbestos, as they do in many other countries. We should also replace so-called CLASP schools. First built in the 1950s, these are steel-framed structures lined with the most dangerous forms of asbestos. There are over 3,000 CLASP-type schools in the UK, many of which are still being used beyond their 60-year design life. Since 2001, at least 305 teachers have died of exposure to asbestos. Among female occupations, primary school teachers are the third most at risk of being diagnosed with mesothelioma. For every teacher's death, nine pupils will subsequently die from exposure at school. Asbestos is a silent killer, and mesothelioma often develops decades after fibres are inhaled. How can we be sure that today's teachers and children aren't being exposed? Unless we act now, by the time they live long enough to see the consequences, it will already be too late. To better protect our children and teachers, the Airtight on Asbestos campaign is calling on the government to 1. Introduce a safe environmental limit for airborne asbestos fibres. 2. Routinely monitor the air in schools known to contain asbestos. 3. Replace all class-type schools. Join our campaign today and help us persuade the government to guarantee rather than assume safety and make sure the UK is airtight on asbestos.